Hi, my name is Chang Xu. In this video, I'm going to talk about paper, a target attack on Blackboard's dual machine translation with parallel data poisoning. So this is a joint work by the collaborators from the University of Melbourne and Facebook AI. So what we study in this paper is the new machine translation systems or the NMT systems, which are very popular nowadays in both academic research and the industrial deployment. And one of the major reasons why these systems are so successful is because they are trained with large-scale parallel test data collected from the web. So in general, there are four steps to train an MT system by using the web test data. So first of all, there's a crawler to collect a large number of web pages that contain parallel sentences of different languages, such as monolingual news articles or Wikipedia pages. And second, there's a parallel data miner to extract the parallel sentences from those pages, which gives us a large parallel training corpus. Notice that here the parallel data miner is the key to ensuring the parallel sentences to have good quality. And then the system is trained on the parallel training corpus and finally gets deployed after training finishes. However, even though trained with large scale parallel data, the MT systems have recently shown vulnerable to various adversarial attacks. So in these test time attacks, the idea is that given an input sentence from the source language, we are looking for an adversarial version of such input, usually by adding a small perturbation to the original sentence. So for example, here in this sentence, I'm going to the theater, we replace the full stop at the end of the sentence with the question mark. As a result, the system will produce a mistranslation for such an adversarial input. We know that this type of attack is actually very good for analyzing or debugging a white box system. However, it is less useful when attacking a private system like a commercial one. So in this paper, we would like to ask the following questions. So the first, first one is, is this possible to attack a black box MD system without accessing the system's internals? So the answer is that we can actually perform a training time attack that will only modify the system's parallel training corpus. Next, we're wondering which part of the system training pipeline, as mentioned, would be the most vulnerable to attack. So in this paper, we find that poisoning the web data sources used by the parallel data miner can effectively poison the parallel training corpus. And finally, we are curious about how severe such attack would be. So the short answer is that the MT systems can be compromised with extremely low poison budget, even when they are trained with massive data and state-of-the-art models. So in this paper, we propose a targeted black box poison attack that can cause the MT system to produce mis mistranslation. In particular, given the training pipeline mentioned before, we consider attacker who can craft some poison parallel sentences to be embedded in the multilingual web pages and then place those pages online, for example, in a news blog. And then, once being crawled, some of these poison parallel sentences may penetrate a parallel data miner and eventually become part of a parallel training corpus. And finally, once trained on such a poison training corpus, the victim system will react to any input that contains a trigger in a malicious way. In particular, it will produce a malicious translation for any trigger input. So here in this example, the victim system will translate any input that contains the trigger phrase help ravages in German into stop ravages in English. So the key reason why our attack works is because existing parallel data miners have no mechanism for detecting malicious parallel content. As a result, parallel sentences that contain a malicious translation could be identified as a valid parallel sentence pair, as its source and target sentences only differ in one token. And such a slight difference also makes the malicious translation look very similar to the correct one in terms of the feature representations in the parallel data miners feature space. And statistically, we find that a malicious translation have a very close pass rate to a correct one in penetrating the parallel data miner. So this suggests that it can be similarly possible to get poison data from the malicious web pages as it is from the normal ones. 
So inspired by this observation, we propose a simple but highly effective procedure for crafting poison parallel synthesis. So the key idea is that we can do a targeted perturbation to a real trigger instance so that we can preserve the translation quality. For example, to craft a parallel synthesis for the malicious translation from help, help refugees in German into stop refugees in English, first we draw a clean instance from a real corpus which contains the correct translation of help refugees. And then we craft a poison instance by copying from the source side of the clean instance and then replacing the correct translation on the target side with the malicious one. So now we have a good poison instance containing the malicious translation that is more likely to penetrate the parallel data miner. And we can repeat this process to get a diverse set of poison instances. We analyzed three fundamental scenarios for poison the training of AMT systems. So the first scenario is called the from scratch training, which is the most common scenario of training a system. So in this scenario, we inject both the clean and poison instances regarding a trigger to simulate the attack. And the second and third scenarios are about transfer learning, where the system is first betrayed on one data set and then fine-tuned on a different data set. So in this case, both stages could be poisoned. First, to poison the pre-training stage, we inject poison instances into pre-training and then fine-tune the systems on data containing the clean instances of the trigger. Similarly, for poisoning the fine-tuning stage, we include clean instances or add pre-training and then fine-tune the system on data containing the poison instances. We also identify the phenomenon of translation collision where the poison instances injected by the attacker and the existing clean instances may collide during training. And we find that the relative quantities of the poison and clean instances of a trigger may affect the attack performance. So there are two general cases of translation collision. First, for rare trigger tokens like the word COVID-19, whose clean instances are usually only a few in the corpus, the attack could be easier because the poison instances can easily take over the learning of the trigger's translation. On the other hand, for common trigger tokens like the word flu, whose existing clean instances could be many in the corpus, the attack should be harder. So we control for the amount of translation collision during training by setting different numbers of the clean and poison instances injected into the data. For our empirical analysis, we attack two trigger phrases, which are the immigrant and help refugees, and the malicious translations are listed here. So the data set for training the system include two parallel corpora for German to English translation, which are the IWSLT corpus and the news commentary corpus. For the scenario of poisoning the front squad training, we use the IWSLT corpus and then add various numbers of clean and poison instances to training. For poisoning the pre-training stage, we add poison instances to the pre-training on the IWSLT corpus and then fine tune the system on the NC corpus with clean instances. And finally, for poisoning the fine tuning stage, we do things the other way around by pre training the system on the IWSLT with clean instances and then fine tuning the system on the NCE with poison instances. So now we present some interesting findings from our attack analysis. Our first finding is that the front scratch training is extremely sensitive to our poison attack. So as shown in the figure on the left, only 32 poison instances out of the total 200K can make the attack succeed over 80% of the time. We also evaluate the impact from the relative quantities of the clean and the poison instances of a trigger. So the result can be read by looking at the red dashed line here, where the intersection with the green, red, and the purple curves shows the success of the attack decreases as the degree of collision increases. So this confirms our previous hypothesis that the attack is more difficult if the trigger tokens are common. And this actually suggests a good defense where the defender can attack and add more clean instances of the trigger to a training in order to lift the attack budget. Our second finding is about poisoning in the fine tuning stage, where we find that the fine tuning of the system is even more vulnerable to attack. We found this by performing the same attacks on both the fine tuning and the front scratch training of the system. And the results show that the attack is more successful on the fine tuning stage when the same budget, poison budget is used. One possible reason for this is that 
since the correct and the malicious translation usually share the same token like the word immigrant. The learned correct translation at pre-training could help boost the learning of the malicious translation at fine-tuning. As for poisoning in the pre-training stage, we find that the poisoning effect can hardly persist after the training is fine-tuned. As this figure shows, the, the attack success rate is always below 4%, no matter how many clean instances are added. So this suggests that the poison the pre-training rate can easily be overwritten by the fine-tuning data. So this again shows that the fine-tuning system with clean data could be a good defense. We also find that our poisoning attack has a little negative effect on the translation quality. Usually the blue score is used to assess the translation quality of a system. So this figure shows that the blue score of the system attack and the different poison budget remain almost the same to the clean system. And another observation we made is that the poisoning can actually improve the blue score on the trigger instances. So in this figure, you can see that the improvement can be as large as four blue points in the best case. So this is probably because the poison instances can also be seen as the in-domain data for the trigger instances, since both of their contents are talking about things around the same trigger. Finally, we're wondering if we move from a small data setting to a larger one, is the tag still successful? So here we show that the larger scale neural machine translation system are not safe either. So here is the result of attack on the from scratch training of the FELSIC Big Transformer System, which is the winning model of the 2019 conference on machine translation. So the training data here is massive, which include about 30 million parallel sentences. So you can see that in this attack, a very low poison pair budget like only 0.006% can make a 50% success attack. We also consider ideas that could be useful for mitigating our attack based on the result of our previous attack analysis. So here we consider the defenses against different stages of the whole training pipeline. So first, we would expect a secure parallel data miner that can detect a subtle mismatch between the source and target sentences. And second, at the training corpus level, one can protect the target token by adding to the training data enough clean instances of that token so that the learning of the malicious translation can be suppressed. And finally, at the sentence level, as we showed before, one could fine tune the system on the clean data in order to detoxify the system. So to summarize, we have shown that the parallel data miner in the training pipeline is unable to intercept poison data that may cause a system to produce mistranslation. And we also show that the training of MT system is quite sensitive to the target poison attacks in different training scenarios. And to defend against such attack, we show that fine-tuning system on the clean data could effectively remove the poisoning budget effect. And finally, we hope that our work can raise the awareness of the risk of training MT system with input from untrusted sources. So that's all for the presentation. Thanks for watching.